What's up, friends? This is Jazz bringing you another for better or for worse vlog number 68. And I apologize for the way lack of for better or for worse vlogs. It's just I've been taking more of mental health breaks from certain videos. So these videos will be on and off. So I can't say, oh, we'll be right back to the old schedule. But I will get them out whenever I can. The first strip from this vlog is from June 27th. 1982. Neat. There's cartoons on TV and they're good ones. They're old. Stop and stop by. Yeah! Alright. It was pretty much just Michael trying to replicate the slipping on banana, the banana peel trick and doing everything he can but he cannot slip on it. He, he tries it on himself, it doesn't work, but then John suddenly slips on it. Like on the old cartoons, like the yeah. Maybe it's just when you know what's coming and when you try to do something it doesn't work so much than with the unexpected. Maybe that's what works about it. I don't know, like for some reason Michael couldn't do it himself, he, no matter what, he couldn't even make it slippery, he would not slip. But John, as John came, he actually slipped on it, so... Maybe it's when you, do, when you have it in your head, it doesn't work quite like you, what you expect it. Because you are expecting it, so... It's hard to explain what I mean. But I'm surprised that it's worked that well with John, but not with Michael. Like, maybe it's the- maybe he walked on it the wrong way, or, like, I, I don't know. It's just... Sometimes when you're mentally preparing yourself for something, it makes it not happen, in a way. Like, he's thinking of him falling, like, on the cartoons, so he puts the banana peel there. And... It, just because he already is mentally prepared for it, he can't fall for it. Like, his brain, like his, his, his body won't fall for it, no matter what. But since John had no preparation for what was going on, it was able to work. Like, sometimes it happens, not with just this scenario, but when you visualize it, hap something going to happen a certain way, it doesn't work out that way. That's just kind of the way it is. I mean, I kind of feel bad for Michael, but I feel worse for John because he, it, that wasn't part of his day, plan, the plan of his day, right? To fall on a banana peel his own son put. I wonder how grounded or spanked or whatever they do with Michael back then is going to happen. Because back in that time, spanking wasn't as taboo. It was actually normal, a normal way of punishment. So I just wonder how much trouble Michael is in for this whole shenanigans. It was a Sunday comic, so it fairly rarely went over the next day, so we wouldn't know what happened after the full, yeah, scenario. Because usually, I mean, back then, most co most of the comics didn't carry over in the story so much, but especially Sunday comics, they rarely, rarely carried over to the next day's strip. They were usually just fun little extras, you know, a light, more lighthearted in a, in a way than the, most of the weekday or weekly strips. And the final strip is from December 13th, 2009, and these are one of the rare ones that don't have a follow-up strip to it because it's one of the newer strips Lynn made after the series ended. Well, I got the entire house cleaned up. And I'm ready for company. I've got all my Christmas shopping done, Ellie, and all the gifts are wrapped. I did a three-page newsletter and sent out all the greeting cards ages ago. I've bought the turkey, I've made the stuffing and the cranberry sauce, and I've done all my baking. I finished decorating the house. All there is left to do is to enjoy the holidays. I'm kidding. I've hardly done a thing. And that's so true in the holidays. Like, you, you want to get everything done, right? But sometimes you leave it till the very last minute. And the laughing is hilarious. Like, they're like, ha ha ha, just kidding, ha ha. 
you know what that's true like we i'm trying to think we got our tree up earlier this year because of everything that went on we needed a little cheering up but we took a little while you know we we didn't just do everything december first we were oh well, maybe we had our tree up but i can't remember but we didn't do all this stuff like i don't know if the rapid they did the night before christmas eve anyway i know that because i know like with us we usually open our gifts christmas eve like like at midnight actually of christmas day but this year we decided to make leave it in at eight o'clock almost ten so i got to open things they were still wrapping things then too so i like so we opened our gifts a little bit earlier this year you know just to kind of make everything lighter but this is, this is an example of something that people would want to get done. And everything she said she got done and then said she was kidding is what everyone would think. Oh, I want to get this done, this done, this done. How, what am I kidding? Because it's, preparing for the holidays can be so difficult. I mean, I don't really know because I don't do half of that stuff that my aunt does to prepare for the holidays, but I know she does these things. Like, and she makes dinner for me and my and her brother like for the last two Chris Christmases because our because my aunt's brother well as I said she's my chosen aunt moved back here after years of being away like before I was born to be precise and he's been living with us for almost two years at this point so for the last two Christmases we had dinner together like or at least Thanksgiving together and then Christmas together so she had to prepare the turkey and the ham we had New Year's dinner too so we had turkey for Christmas and ham for for New Year's so she had to prepare like the dinners do the wrapping for the Christmas do the shopping like when I, when she got me that Pokemon game last minute she picked that up for me last minute and so it's, it's a miracle everything people do to prepare for Christmas and how sometimes, especially for teenagers, it's hard for them to, to appreciate it. All the work the parents or caregivers put in to ha make their Christmas so special. And I'm still 29, and I'm just getting there, right? Like, like everything my aunt had to do to make Christmas special for me, and for everyone else she got stuff Christmas for. But yeah, and realistically... I don't think anyone could get all that done, you know, it's, it, it, to, to, to a perfect degree as what Anne said she did do. So that that's kind of more of a realistic picture than just kidding, I hardly got a thing. That is a more realistic image at Christmas. Because, you, like, who is ever perfectly on time and just able to relax over the holidays? Almost no one. I said almost. There are some odd people. But this is the realistic picture there. So anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel and like what you see, please subscribe. It helps this channel a lot. And don't forget to hit the bell notification so you'll know when new videos are coming out. And I will see you guys in my next video.